YouTube! ¿Qué pasa? Welcome back to another Bleach Brave Souls video on my channel. Right, couple of hours to go until this month's end of month banner drops. Drop in basically tomorrow. Well, for me it's tomorrow, for you it's uh, maybe even today. Uh, I don't know. So anyways, uh, the banner is dropping in a couple of hours. And yeah, I just want to do a quick recap. Like before you summon, literally, because... Yeah, I'm not really feeling that banner, in my opinion. Obviously, it's nice we're getting a pop uh, Link Slot uh, character, and it's nice we're getting another Power Super Potion Farmer, similar to Saf. We kind of made that basically as all skills. I'm talking about you, Michika. Um, nevertheless, um, bearing in mind that this banner is a seasonal Valentine's banner. So, um, yeah. Um, let, let's quickly fly over the character. So obviously Orihime, uh, to summon it up, it will be a very good barrier and boost unit. Practically useful in every single guild quest week. Um, plus she also has shared complete status immunity, which makes her even better um, as a booster. Um, makes her even better as a booster uh, compared to others. Um, I'm not sure about her damage output will remain to have to be seen. I mean, she does have reduced strong attack cooldown by 6%. Um, she has a Berserker base of 40%, Havoc 20%. So she's actually a very good unit. Um, next up, we have Sun Sun. I mean, she has a Mind Link's Love Potion skill. Bro, that basically means... Yeah, what, what, is it, what this is going to mean is basically you're going to be seeing everyone farming and they will be saying, right, uh, Mind Link's Love Potion unit plus Link. You know, like some 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 funny people play the game sometimes, and they they have the weirdest weirdest requirements for people to enter their rooms. And I was like, yo. So my base advice advice here is basically literally open your own rooms if you see stupid rooms like that. Yeah, I mean, I'm all about optimizing and farming the max and everything. But come on, man, that'll be ridiculous. Like, not everyone's gonna pull for the banner. Not everyone has the character. So. Yeah, that is basically, but the way the game is going in future, you probably in the long or short term, you will be needing those link slot potion units. So, yeah, but if you, at this point, if you guys are looking for an active community to play with and you can't be, uh, you can't be bothered using my link slot potion units, enjoy my Discord, links down below in the description. Um, we have a lot of people on the server that just play and whenever you're looking for a company to play with, uh, there's always someone up. So yeah, definitely check that one out. But apart from that, Sun Sun is actually going to be useful um, in, in terms of um, uh, farming uh, if you was to use a surf. But apart from that, the main role is only going to be a Link Slot character. And that's basically it. That's the entire reason she's being created for from, from Caleb. Next up, last but not least, we probably have the most valuable character in the game. Yumichika is very similar to Safu Ikaname. Um, as I said, he does have bonus for technique for droplet supers and normal Link Slot potions for tech. Um, plus, he doesn't have a bad a skill set. I mean, he's got base berserk of 60%. He'd be dealing damage. 60% devastation on top is actually a good character. And he's actually the, I think, was it the second or the third character to have God Break plus Pierce Iron Skin in one skill. So I probably guess we would be seeing more of this this year. Nevertheless, this Yumi Chica is actually the only one I want to go for as well. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do a few steps on the main banner tomorrow or maybe in a couple of hours. Or if I'm going to wait for the solo banner. I'm not sure. If I, if I pick up one Sun Sun, you know, it can't harm. But yeah, I'm, I might have to see um, if I'm even going to summon. Like, usability-wise, the only reason I need this character is because I don't have some suit Momo. But this character is actually the most valuable for newer players out there. For new beginner players out there who are lacking, um, who are lacking uh, those um pot characters bear in mind this banner drops and we have a few other banners at the moment out as well so let me quickly go over there so bear in mind the brave first from ichigo has basically dropped so this is a chance to potentially pick up a few copies of him even though i'm not feeling the fillers then next up we have the tybw banner which is currently up and this one is staying just shortly before um before um the uh, the end of month banner is dropping and you may even want to drop a few 
few steps in there. If you're missing, for example, Uryu, Uryu is the same as you, Michika, is a farmer for everything. Chad is a broken PvP character, which is very useful. And obviously, Ichigo is the best heart unit in the game. So, yeah, you have a lot of value of that as well. Then, obviously, you have the Felicitations mid-month uh, Renji solo banner. I wouldn't recommend going for that. And, yeah, that's that's basically it. So, those are the banners that are going to be around until then. So if you are looking to only get one of these characters, like for example, Yumichika, like myself, I probably even would recommend you to go for the solo banner, even though the fillers aren't too good. Um, this Edrad, um, I mean, he is very useful for one or two stages in Senkaimon, but that really is it. Um, yeah, his use is limited. Same with Findor. Even though I could see Findor being a good PvP character, actually. Uh, so credits to Dr. Dean from my from my Discord server. I might even try to use him if I get my hands on a few more copies of this character. But yeah, that's basically if you want to go for Yumichika and the same thing for the others. Um, generally speaking, if you're looking to get either one of those characters, then you might as well go for the main banner. Five steps never harm, um, as I always like to say. So that's 1,100 orbs there. Um, isn't too bad. Um, obviously, um, getting one of these characters, especially Yumichika, would be a very great value for your account. Or same thing with Sun Sun. Again, Orihime is an all-round uh, booster at the moment. But yeah, that's that's the banner that's dropping basically in a couple of hours. So I wish everyone best of luck summoning for this banner. Um, do drop a comment down below. Let me know if you're even going to summon on it or if you're going to skip in it. Like personally, if you ask me, um, what I would have wished for for this end of month is like a triple Eisen banner or like a new Hollow Mask Ichigo or like a white or Saturn. Something crazy, something you know, like, that gets me going. Like, I usually like to summon for characters um, if their design suits me and if I like the character, you know? Like, I don't really just summon on any character for the sake of summoning. I only summon if I really want the character, if it's, like, a really busted character. Um, then I usually go for it. But, yeah, that's that's basically me. But, obviously, everyone has different preferences. Um, Orihime is a fan-favorite character, so I can see why Caleb's putting, him, putting her in there. Uh, I don't really get Yumichika and Sun Sun, but yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, I can't, I can't influence the decisions of 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 Caleb. If I could, bro, we'd be getting some crazy, crazy characters, some, some, some triple eyes and banners with monster eyes and normal eyes and I don't know what other eyes and. I wish in future to get a pure farming eyes and. Uh, who has uh, like those skills um, like Yumichika has, that would be sad. But yeah, that's that's uh, uh, not confirmed if you're ever going to get something like that. But anyways, enough from me. Don't forget to smash the like button. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys next time.